Hello, this tutorial will show you how to make an attack combo in Unity. This will be done by using animation events to call the next attack when the proper conditions are met. On the character you would like to control, make sure you have an animator. Add or select the animation controller you would like to edit. Create an integer variable called animation. Make three attack states and one idle state. The transition from idle to the first attack happens when animation equals 31. The transition from the first to second attack happens when animation equals 33. The transition from the second to third attack happens when animation equals 6. All attacks return to idle when animation equals 4. For each attack, Find the original animation in your assets folder. Click the animations tab and scroll down to events. Click and drag in the gray area next to the play button to pick where your transition takes place. Now add the event. The script you're using goes in the object field. The name of the function you would like to call goes in the function field. I already have the event set. Finally, open the script. Make sure to have an animator, an integer, and a boolean. Get the animator component. Set the integer to zero and the boolean to true. Whenever the left mouse button is clicked, the combo starter function will run. In the combo starter function, if the boolean is true, increase the integer by 1. If the integer equals 1, activate the first animation. Combo check is called whenever an animation event occurs. Set the boolean to false. If the first animation is still playing and only one click has happened, return to idle. If the first animation is still playing and at least two clicks have happened, continue the combo. If the second animation is still playing and only two clicks have happened, return to idle. If the second animation is still playing and at least three clicks have happened, continue the combo. Since this is the third and last animation, return to idle. That's all you need to make a basic combo animation. A link to the code is in the description. I hope this helps.